Hello and welcome to Zenata Consulting's Beginner Series. This is our continuing series on Zoho WorkDrive. And today we're going to talk about some basic settings that you want to set up when queuing up your organization. From Zenata Consulting, I'm Brett Martin. And I'm Tyler Colts, and I will go ahead and get right to it. Um, so again, here starting from our primary WorkDrive kind of homepage. Um, if we go ahead under the admin panel, it's kind of our first step to get to our most general settings. Um, again, from here, it'll give you the top down of all of the usage of the system, but where we want to go is under settings. And so from here, we get kind of just a variety of top down settings that will apply across the board, regardless of which folder you're in or which document you're working with. Um, of course, we can set up our team name, right? In this case, maybe we'd put this as something like Zanata demo account if we want to clean this up. Just kind of that top level name for the team or for the work drive organization. Um, you can also use this to change your super admin. So if someone, you know, maybe this was set up under the CEO and they don't want to be a part of this anymore, right? You can go ahead and change that over so that, you know, nothing gets stuck getting escalated to someone who might be not a huge part of the system at this current time. Um, moving down the page, branding is pretty simple. You can go ahead and add your company logo. Um, that's going to show up on like the preview headers for things and the headers of emails if anything does get sent out to the team. Um, if you're doing a lot of external sharing, definitely a nice thing to do just so that things are branded for your company specifically. Uh, next into the content here. Now, there's a couple settings within content. Um, this one here is the same as our setting that we saw when we we're creating our different team folders. Um, but you can actually go ahead and make it organization wide if you so wish. Um, so if I were to turn this on, then any file uploaded to a team folder is going to automatically get converted over to the work drive format. Um, of course, now you can say, should people be able to choose this within their team folders as well? So you can have some kind of multi layers. Um, but as a general rule, I mean, we like working within the Zoho, um, Zoho office system, but it's just a preference if you want to have that on or off. Uh, the next one is, is kind of an important one as well. So by default, this one will be turned on. Um, so now that I've turned that back on here, uh, if we go ahead and go to any of our team folders and just create any old document here. So we'll just create a writer document. And once I start adding some content to this, so if we were to go ahead and add some content here, we'll see that this document is still in draft mode. Uh, basically, what that means is that other people in the team folder can't see it yet. Um, this is a, actually a pretty nice thing to have if you have a lot of people working in one team folder and not every single work in progress item needs to be shown to everybody. Um, and so how this works is once I actually mark this as ready, now it will be visible to the rest of the team that's using that team folder. Again, it's just a preference thing if you want to have this on and off, but you can control it from within settings. And you also can't share a document with anybody, just directly with anybody while it's in draft mode. You always mm -hmm. have to put it into ready mode. Yep. So for smaller teams, or if you have like a bunch of folders where you don't have a ton of things all flowing through one, you might not need to have this on. But if you do have a huge team all working in one folder, it could definitely be a value add to make sure that things aren't getting confused between finished documents and documents that we're still working on. Um, one last little thing that they do, and this, this applies to when you're searching, um, is that uh, Powered by Zia, which is you know, Zoho's um, little AI tool, WorkDrive will actually let you search the content within documents and even within like PDF documents um, using some basic OCR or optical character recognition. And from here, you can say if there's any other languages that it should be looking for as it does this, uh, you can go ahead and add those here. Uh, moving on down, there are some additional roles and permissions that you can go ahead and set up. Um, so one that does come into play is who should be able to set up a fully public team folder? You know, you might want to say, hey, anyone on the team can just go ahead and create one of those or team admins only should be the ones who are creating any public team folders. That same type of rule will apply for your private team folders. And then lastly, here underneath um, you know, our settings, we can allow members with the same domain name to join a team. Um, so this would be the case where you know, maybe if you have some users who have not yet been added to WorkDrive, um, this would basically allow them to join on their own as long as you, know, you have the proper licensing available for them. 
Then down here at the bottom, this really is not something that you can edit, um, but this does just give you the full breakdown of what each of these different uh, roles or permissions can do with just a little bit more granularity than you get uh, when you're just assigning them out. Um, a next little section here around sharing. Uh, so you can determine should any files and folders be able to be shared outside this team. Um, generally, that's going to be yes, and then maybe certain folders you'll turn that off on rather than turning it off for the whole organization. Um, and then lastly, you know, should you be able to download and print embedded files and folders um, if you do have them embedded on your site? So this does not apply for inside of WorkDrive, but if you had a PDF in WorkDrive and you had downloaded like an embed to go and put it on your site, this would allow people or disallow them from downloading it off of your website wherever it's embedded. Um, last little quick one here under custom domain, you can actually go ahead and map over a different site name if you so please. Um, so you could do something like, you know, workdrive.zanata.com if you want to brand this internally for your team. Uh, we can choose whether people should be able to use the local desktop applications um, or mobile applications to access WorkDrive. Uh, the big one here is desktop. If you're very, very careful about anything being downloaded, uh, you would turn this off just because desktop does actually pull things locally onto someone's device. But these are very important applications, though. The uh, the WorkDrive Sync and the TrueSync applications, they really allow you, they show it, they'll show it as a folder on your desktop. You can easily access anything. Uh, the true sync is super nice and that it really doesn't use up a lot of space on your desktop. It's basically keeping the files up there. And as you need them, it's pulling them down. So again, as Tyler was saying, depending on your level of trust, you'll want to look at this, but a super, super handy, uh, handy feature to have. Yeah. And then last but not least here underneath data retention, we can decide you know, how long we wanna keep certain items once they've been deleted, or if you never actually wanna fully delete them once they've been trashed, unless you go in and manually do it. Um, so if you're ever worried about people deleting things on accident, just leave it how it is, because then you'll get that chance to review before you'd ever actually fully, fully delete things. Um, here with the admin console, you know, this is kind of your final warning, right, before things get deleted um, as a whole. And you can set that uh, based on, you know, 7, 30, 90, or 120 days out into the future. And that's our quick tutorial on how to use settings in Zoho WorkDrive. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.